where the team from here will play next weekend. Stanford wins, they'll get to host. And if the Cowgirls were to win, they were to host next week. Kick along the near side line and Kelly out of bounds and a throw in for Maryland. Maryland again defeated Auburn 1-0 here on Friday as did the Cowgirls as they knocked off the club from Illinois. Very good game among those four, two games among those four teams. Ball kicked into the sideline here again and they throw in this time for Oklahoma State right here along the midfield stripe. On the sideline, Reinhardt throws it in. A lot of the girls wearing the uh, long sleeves and some the uh, headgear today for the protection of the ears. Header by Marquezano to the back line and that'll be touched by Chris and she'll just send it to the keeper. And Balligan will send it up the ground where it's blocked by Reinhardt at midfield and now Maryland will take it and turn it and send it the other way. Grove down the near sideline. They're a quick club right down the center of the ground. Goes over to the wing. Nearly overrunning it was Hubgen. She'll take it back out and look for some help at midfield. And uh, an overshoot the player there. It'll be Chris to go back and get it defensively. And she and Anderson will take it and bring it down the ground. Again, Maryland will defend the south goal and go from our right to left here in the first half. And deep toward the near side, a big header there by Hubke, but it's knocked down by the Cowgirls and brought back up to midfield. And Lopez trying to turn it <laughs> here in front of us as it's knocked, knocked out of bounds. It'll be a throw in for Oklahoma State. First ever meeting, as I said, between these two teams, an ACC and Big 12 matchup here in this Sweet 16 game this afternoon. Niemeyer along the near sideline, turns it, sends it up the ground, trying to send it forward, but Maryland plays it back and sends it back into the middle of the ground. It's overrun, Mercado trying to take it back, blocked out by Brock, and now brought ahead by her at midfield. She'll give it off there to Hubka. <laughs> and then back to Chris, and Chris will go down the far sideline with it. She'll send it deep into the Cowgirls zone, and a header by Mercado will send it back the other way to midfield. Cowgirls try to get numbers back there, but nobody at home, and Ashley Grove will take it ahead for Maryland. Into the forward in, a chance here in front perhaps, but it's cleared over to the sideline, and now a chance there is knocked high toward the far post. It'll bounce around and go across the back line. It would appear to be cleared out. That's what it will be, and it'll be taken there by A.D. French, who will pick it up and Hunt it the other way. She'll have the wind at her back here in the first half and shoots that one all the way down, halfway down the ground to the Maryland zone. They try to turn it and bring it out of trouble. Hodak there and trying to bring it out for Anderson. And now we're on the far side, Chris, and they'll just work it out of the zone. Played two minutes, there is no score. Up the ground, the Cowgirls a header again by Mercado, sends the ball back to midfield where it's brought ahead by Matthews. Cowgirls without Carson Michalowski today and Catherine Parrish, both out with injuries. So Niemeyer down the ground for the Cowgirls, getting another start. Three goals in the last two games for her, including the game winner on Friday. Looking for Treadwell over into the corner. The ball slid to the sideline. Chris out of bounds and a throw in for Oklahoma State to the right of their keeper, Balligan, who will tell you a little bit more about here in just a moment. And now the throw in taken. The Cowgirls have it, trying to work control over on the far wing. Doherty trying to center it in. Niemeyer, a left-footed shot, and it goes in. It dribbles inside the near post, and Niemeyer has another goal. That will be her fourth in three games, and the Cowgirls have scored early. She beats the keeper, Balligan, and it will be Doherty who will get the assist on the goal. So the Cowgirls with the left-footed blast. It wasn't really a hard shot, but it dribbled past the keeper inside the near post, and the Cowgirls have the lead. For Niemeyer, that's her fourth goal. All of them in the last three games, two of them in the opener with uh, Pine Bluff in the playoffs, and one Friday and now one today. And we've talked about it, and I'll repeat it again. The play of this club is different with her in the lineup and has been about the last six or seven games. Cowgirls with the early lead here before a growing crowd here at Cowgirl Soccer Complex in Stillwater. And at midfield, Niemeyer has the ball back again as she plays it to the far wing for Treadwell. Treadwell over on the far side. The senior from Cleveland works around the defender, plays it toward the back line. It's going to go across. It'll be a goal kick for Balligan. And Balligan, their keeper, in 1940-plus uh, minutes, has given up now just 20 goals. And a uh, goals against average of about .92 now. She's had nine shutouts on the year and has won 11 games. And she is from Bowie, Maryland. Played at Roosevelt High School. 
Ball kicked back to midfield. Cowgirls try to win it back. They have players in the circle there, and Kelly will take it away for Oklahoma State, sending it over to Doherty. He'll send it deep into the zone, trying to run it down as Marquezano. Maybe a chance toward the corner. She's able to win it. Scoot around to the defender for a moment to the back line. The ball is blocked across the line for a corner kick off the leg of Chris, and this will be a corner for the Cowgirls. And this will be taken by Taylor Matthews. The Cowgirls this season have had 100 corners now in the first half of all games. 166 to 80, they've out uh, cornered their opponents as it were. Maryland on the year has had 220. Here's the corner, top of the uh, six, headed out by Maryland, a chance in front. Here's Lopez, a shot is blocked from 20 yards out. That'll roll to the near sideline and be brought up the ground by the Terrapins. And here comes Maryland. They have it for a moment. Now the Cowgirls try to win it back. And they'll just pull it back toward uh, their keeper. And Anderson will send it down the ground to the far wing. It's going to be Chris and over to the far sideline. Now uh, we'll try to bring it back up the ground here. One nil Cowgirls as we play here in the fifth minute. Oklahoma State with an early lead by Annika Niemeyer's goal. Anderson deep down the ground, a header by Mercado will send it back to midfield. Cowgirls look to turn it. Matthews will send it back to Doherty over on the far wing. Top of the Cowgirls zone, which is to our left from the stripe. And then they just play it forward. Nobody home there as it bounces over a player. And Chris will bring it into the forward end. Overshoots the player Brock, but it's taken down the ground. Here comes Hupka inside the 18, taken off her feet. We're going to have a foul and a penalty kick coming up here. For Maryland, taken off her feet was Danielle Hubka, the junior from Strongsville, Ohio, and this is going to be a penalty kick. Our official Tim Debussing immediately indicated the spot inside the 18, and the penalty kick coming up. Meanwhile, Hubka is going to be treated, and she's on her feet, and apparently just a hard tackle, but it is a foul, and we will have a penalty kick here for Maryland for a chance to uh, equalize it here. And Ashley Grove, the senior from Rochester, New York, is going to take the penalty kick. And again, this will be straight on to French with no defender in front of her. A left-footed kick. The blast is blocked. It is blocked to the left near the far post. And resume the clock as the Cowgirls avoid the equalizer. And that wakes up this cold crowd over across the way. 1-0 Cowgirls, and they'll play it forward the other way. What a save by French. He anticipated right inside the near po or far post and made the knockdown save. Sideline throw in now for Maryland as the crowd again yelling over across the way here in Stillwater. Not as big as the crowd we had the other night, but it's still a pretty good crowd for the fact that it is about 40 degrees outside and feels colder. It's going to be a goal kick as it rolled across the back line here, and Maryland will take this goal kick. Strong kick by Balligan into the circle. Cowgirls miss a header, and then we get a foul over the back was Matthews. <clears throat> Excuse me. This will be a free kick, and it's already taken by Maryland down the ground. And it'll be almost a, now it was out of the uh, hands there of uh, Doherty as uh, she fell down and touched the ball. We're going to have a foul first, though. I think she was taken off her feet by Maryland, and that is the case. And so a free kick for Oklahoma State. So Maryland with a chance to even it up early, and they are denied. Now the Cowgirls will look to win it and play it the other way. Doherty off the ground and out of bounds. It's going to be a foul here, I believe, on Doherty for a hard tackle, and the crowd doesn't like the call. I'm going to say out of bounds, so a throw in. I actually just got a warning about the play. No foul on the play, so a throw in for Maryland, and they'll take it up the ground the other way. They go from right to left into the forward end. A big header, and then a second one by Reinhardt will keep the ball in the circle, but the uh, Terps have the uh, ball, and now we get a whistle and a stoppage of the clock, and we have an injured player down back on the other side of the ground for Oklahoma State. And this may be Elizabeth Delosier. We'll check and see here as the clock is stopped. 36.02 here left in the first half as we played right at nine minutes. And they're checking out the player who is down. It's Delosier. She is on her back. Our official is Tim Devising, the referee. Jonathan Johnson, the sideline official on one side. Jennifer Jones is on the other side. And our old buddy Jack Damrell is the substitution table official today here 
at the Cowgirl Soccer Complex. Well, this is another defender who's injured, and you cannot afford to lose anybody else on the back end here if you're Oklahoma State. So, and uh, up to her feet, and apparently none the worse for wear for the moment, is Delosier. And she is walking off with some assistance, but pretty much under her own power. She got taken off her feet away from the play as it came into the forward end. And again, the official saw the injury and then went back and said, stop the clock as the ball came past the center circle. Played right at nine minutes. The Cowgirls with a goal by Niemeyer and an assist by Doherty lead 1-0. Delosier now running off the ground under her own power. And we'll see if the Cowgirls will play us. Yeah. Tell you what, I don't see it. I don't see a sub at the moment. The Cowgirls are a man down. Delosier is over here on the near sideline. She's just going to gather herself and come right back onto the ground. And play will resume now as Maryland will have possession and bring it into the forward end on a free kick by their keeper. Bounces past a couple of their players and kicked away. Up the ground by the Cowgirls, and we'll get a hand check foul, and we'll go back the other way. Was it offsides? It may have been offsides. Near sideline official called it, and play will resume. The near sideline official is Jonathan Johnson. Free kick, Maryland, just inside the circle at midfield. Ball to the near side, a high header there, and a couple of them as the ball is down now by Hastings, but cleared away by Lopez, who had the first touch on that one. Niemeyer with a defender all over, and that is Dominica Hodek, a junior from West Sayville, New York. A lot of East Coast flavors you might imagine on this club. Maryland trying to center it now in the Cowgirl zone. It's cleared away by the defense. Back to midfield where Chris takes it and shoots it back to Anderson. And they'll start the set over again. Hodak to the near side. Boy, they overrun it. And down there's Marcazano quickly. And getting back to the ball is Anderson. That was nearly a breakaway. Maryland having trouble against this Cowgirl defense. Now Niemeyer's going to get called for a hand check foul as the player there, Odak, left her feet. So from about the same spot they had the kick a moment ago, Maryland will have another free kick. Played over 10 minutes, a 1-0 Cowgirl lead, but again, there was a chance to equalize it as the shot by Grove on the penalty kick was rejected by A.D. French. Headed by the Cowgirls, trying to turn it, a little dribbler in front, Spencer, and it's picked up by the keeper. Jasmine Spencer, senior out of Bay Shore, New York. The leading scorer, goal-wise, is Olivia Wagner. Haley Brock and Becky Kaplan, who scored the other day. Those are the three top scorers for the University of Maryland. They have the ball back the other way as they send it down the ground and a sliding play into the stands there by the defender and out of bounds for a Cowgirl throw in. And there's still folks coming in to watch this matchup, and you have time to get out here if you're in the Stillwater area as well. Cowgirls with an early 1-0 lead on the scoreboard and another throw in here for Doherty. Far sideline, a header, sends it forward. Treadwell into the corner, but that ball's going to roll across the line, and it sets up a Maryland goal kick. Cowgirls this year in... Home games have not lost. They were tied once by Texas. They're 12-0-1. Of course, they only lost on the season coming in that Big 12 championship game two weeks ago today in San Antonio. Annika Niemeyer wins a header off the kick down the ground. Taken there by Grove for a moment. Now played ahead. Marcazano trying to find Matthews in front. Now to the wing near side. And can anybody run it down? They do over here. There's Niemeyer again playing it to the corner, looking to try to get it out of trouble. Sends it up toward the net. The ball's just going to go across the back line. That'll be a goal kick for Maryland. Maryland has been in the postseason here in this tournament, now three years in a row. A very deep run last year, and they're trying to equal that again here today with a win. Logan's goal kick to near midfield. Header sending it down to the ground and another one there by the Cowgirls, Reinhardt, to send it back into the zone where Maryland will play it back out. 
Cowgirls lead 1-0. We're 15 minutes or so into the first half here in Stillwater. A gray day and a high kick out of bounds off the leg of Ashley Grove and an inbounds throw in for the Cowgirls. Looking to set it up is Marion Reinhardt. She does along the near side. And the ball is going to go to the sideline. Played around by a couple of players. Maryland tries to clear it to midfield. It's going to go off the leg of Spencer. And another Cowgirl throw in right in front of us here. Maryland's bench is to our left. Oklahoma State's is to our right along this near sideline. Matthews takes the knockdown on the throw in. Gets it back to Reinhardt. She'll send it deep toward the near corner. And Marquezano will try to cut off the pass but can't as it was taken there by Anderson. Sent back in front of the... Uh, goal box and will be taken out of there by the Terrapins. Down the ground they send it and it is Doherty who heads it to the far sideline. Treadwell in traffic trying to get it out of trouble. Sends it back to Colleen who will now take it up to Mercado who will send it across the line. A little short pass to Matthews just outside the center circle. Sends it to the sideline again for Doherty and it's out of bounds. It's blocked out by Maryland and a cowgirl throw in. Another play to the near sideline. Both teams overrun it for the moment, and the last person back is Megan Gibbons, and she wins it back for Maryland. They send it into the cowgirl zone. Mercado runs it down, tries to block it out to the sideline, ends up winning the ball as it went off of a Maryland player and stayed in bounds. Now Matthews clears it from center to near side, and it comes to the wing, and it's Reinhardt now up the ground for Lopez. She has been quiet in recent games goal-wise, but has done a lot with outscoring. Meanwhile, up the ground comes Anderson, who intercepts the pass and brings it back into the forward end. Sets up a player coming down the middle of the ground. I believe that's Hubka. She'll come into the corner and shoot, and uh, it's wide over atop the crossbar from the far post. And a goal kick for Oklahoma State. She was the player that came into the 18 earlier and was fouled and then set up the penalty kick by Grove that was blocked by A.D. French. French's numbers on the year, 11 shutouts. Ties the record. She said as a freshman, 15, 1, and 2. 0.28 goals against average. She's only allowed five goals all year in 1,650 minutes. This is her 19th game of the season. A couple of headers, and it just pinballs around and out to the ground, and the Cowgirls try to win it back and do as Treadwell takes the touch at midfield. Maryland tried to clear and was unable to do so as the Cowgirls had numbers at midfield. Now Doherty down the far sideline. Looking for some help, nobody home, and Maryland clears it back the other way. Again, they go from right to left in the dark uniforms, if you're watching on the Internet. Cowgirls in the white again today. Kodak over on the far side looking for some help. And up the ground comes the University of Maryland into the forward end. This is Spencer bringing it down the center of the ground, trying to get around Mercado. There's a mismatch in height of about a half a foot there. Tries to center it, does. We get a... A uh, header that comes out, and it's knocked away again by the Cowgirls, but then knocked down by Hastings. And over here to the near wing. Into the corner, they look to take it. That's Gibbons, and the ball goes out. It'll be a sideline throw in for Maryland. 1-0 our score. We're approaching the halfway point here of the first half. Along the back line, Maryland player tries to cross it and falls down and the ball ends up going back out across the uh, back line and this will be a goal kick for A.D. French. So for all of that it was uh, again not a real good uh, look by the Terps off this near side. Low line drive by A.D. into the center circle knocked down for a moment now Matthews gets a toe on it. Niemeyer Clears it back for Kelly, who sends it to Mercado, and now up the ground to Doherty, across the midfield stripe. Doherty by herself, down the far sideline. Looks ahead for Treadwell. Kendall at the midfield area. Sliding tackle there to knock it away, and a foul. Treadwell ended up going down and blocking out, and a foul on Oklahoma State. <laughs> Remy Kriz will have the free kick here for Maryland. And they have a number of players from the eastern part of the country. They have some players from other parts of the country, too. Chris, for example, is from Oregon. They have a couple of players uh, from Colorado, a couple from Ohio. And some players from Canada. Canada, I'll tell you what, is becoming an interesting area along the 
U.S. border, the uh, area there especially, for soccer. A uh, number of high school players end up playing collegiate soccer in the United States. Uh, uh, Maryland ended up winning the ball and playing it forward, and Doherty has it go off her leg out of bounds at midfield, and a Terrapin throw it. Terrapin, of course, a turtle. That's the mascot of the University of Maryland. Kodak sideline, and the ball... And we get a foul, another free kick. Ends up being a handball off Oklahoma State. And this will be a free kick again for Maryland. Jim Debussing setting the ball for play, our referee. Making sure everybody's okay at the other end of the ground, and here we go. High kick toward the center of the uh, top of the 18, off the back of uh, Doherty, and cleared away by Lopez to center, but then a big header. Now two or three, and we get a foul here. Foul. Second person over the back, and it's a Maryland foul, and the Cowgirls will have a free kick. 15 yards to the left of midfield. And Melinda Mercado, the senior from Sepulpa, will take this free kick. And the Cowgirls in white going left to right. As the ball is set for play here. Chance to drop below half of the half gone here. Almost a handball, and Niemeyer trying to run it down. Gets taken off her feet. There is no foul. Play on, says the official. Now Lopez up the near side, looks to center it. It's blocked, and Maryland looks to clear it out. Brock to the near side, up to the sideline here in front of us, and it goes out for a cowgirl throw-in. Now let's see if they can get something going now in the turf's defensive zone. They can't for the moment, although... Kelly trying to win it back is able to take the ball away as Maryland looked like they had a chance for a break. All the way across the ground now for Doherty on the far sideline. She's going to deep center the ball into Lopez. Tries to turn and get open. Maybe a chance here. A sliding tackle taking the shot. ball away. Anderson now a shot that's blocked. And that shot was by Marcazano and it will be cleared out. And Maryland will have it for a moment. Now the Cowgirls get it back. Doherty again deep toward the top of the 18. Knocked away again by Maryland. Matthews now taking off her feet. Crowd wants a foul. She and Hook could got tangled up there, and the ball goes to the sideline for Oklahoma State. That's Treadwell. Again, loses her footing, and again loses her footing that time with some help and might have, yeah, she's okay. And uh, Maryland will clear the ball to midfield. Mercado is there. And at the sideline, Doherty, it stays in, and Maryland just kicks the ball down the ground. And a header by Mercado will keep it in the uh, midfield area for the Cowgirls. Matthews plays it back to Miriam Reinhardt. And now to Delosier. And they just clear it in front of the offensive player coming down the ground back to A.D. French. And it'll be picked up by her and she'll knock it away. May kick it off the ground. Uh, it's just a little short roller up to uh, Doherty over on the far sideline. And Colleen will take it forward. Again, another deep ball by the senior from Bishop McGinnis. Sideline touch and out of bounds off Chris and a cowgirl throw in deep in the Maryland zone. It's 1-0 Oklahoma State. As we're deep into the first half here at the Cowgirl Soccer Complex. Already a bounce on the throw in to Matthews trying to get it back and it's blocked away into the seats again and another Oklahoma State throw in. Bounced again into Niemeyer and knocked away by Maryland. Niemeyer trying to clear it back but can't do it. And the ball belongs to Maryland deep in their own zone. They try to get it out of trouble. And the ball to midfield where Mercado's going to take it away, or try to anyway, with some help does, and gets it to Kelly. Now works it to Lopez, who runs it down up the near side. The defender is there first, though, had the angle, Hastings, and she'll send it back to center. Where it's taken there by Kelly. She intercepts the Cowgirls in the Maryland zone, brings it down for Lopez. In front of the 18 with three defenders and almost a wall in front of her. Now Marcazano, again the ball knocked away from her. She'll run it down maybe over here on the near side, but instead it's touched first by Spencer. And again it's touched by Maryland, and they'll bring it ahead. Can they clear it out of their zone? That's the question. Hodak to the sideline. And up the ground comes Spencer across the midfield line, and Maryland does get it out of there for the moment, but it goes out along the near side in front of their own bench, and the Cowgirls will throw it in right here to our left. Two opportunities right there for Oklahoma State. Off the throw in a header. Now Lopez knocks that ball down, and it comes to the sideline. And Oklahoma State has a out-of-bounds play and a throw in here for Maryland. Touched again by Grove to the sideline. And she tries to win it. Cowgirls have numbers back. Trying to play it out of their 
zone. That one looks to center. The ball comes to the sideline. This will be a deep throw in for Maryland. Up to the area there. They'll try it again to set it up. Ball bounces toward the back line. Two players there, and it goes out across the line. Touched by Maryland. This will be a throw in, or actually be a goal kick, I should say, for Oklahoma State. And our first substitute of the match is Sarah Brown. Sarah will come in for Kendall Treadwell, senior from Jenks. And so she'll take the uh, left wing on the offensive front. And play will resume after the AD French goal kick. And we get a foul right off the bat here at midfield. This is on Maryland, and the Cowgirls will have a free kick. Niemeyer's goal, 1-0 the score. Oklahoma State in front. They'll take the free kick from just outside the center circle. And it's brought up the ground by Doherty after the kick by Mercado. Doherty, a little dribbler up the sideline, touched there by Marquezano. Now they'll take it over to Brown, who just came into the match. Brown to the back corner, defended over there by Gibbons. And cleared away again by Maryland. Cowgirls get opportunities, but they go awry deep in the zone. And here's a ball blocked out off Maryland at midfield and a throw in for Oklahoma State at the top of the Maryland zone. Maryland missed a penalty kick earlier that would have equalized the match in the first half. And now they have the ball coming down the ground. This is Hupka across the line and clears it to the far wing. Down the ground there is Spencer. Looks to come to the back line across. And that ball's going to go across, and it will be a goal kick coming up. Maryland getting ready to bring in their first sub of the match. Maybe their first two here. Meanwhile, the Cowgirls will play the goal kick here as the clock continues to run. Hades kick is away. And again, what win there is, the Cowgirls have it at their back. Maryland knocks the ball down center circle, and here comes Becky Kaplan. Kaplan, who scored the only goal the other day, up the ground. She's been quiet so far here. Ball overrun, and it will be taken by the Cowgirls up the far sideline. Brown knocks down the pass from Mercado. Back to Doherty, and now Colleen. And that ball ends up in the seats. So a midfield throw in for Maryland. Here is Saste Ayende, who checks in. She had an assist the other day against... Utah, or pardon me, against uh, Auburn. And uh, the other player into the match is Corey Ryan. And uh, Ryan is a 5'4 freshman from Massachusetts. Ayende is a senior from North Belmore, New York. Now girls trying to work it out of their own zone. Maryland has numbers down there, and here they come. Near wing cross and a chance there that just misses. Ayende had that opportunity there on the play and it went awry of the post. Goal kick for Oklahoma State. And she immediately makes an impact into this match. As we said earlier, she has uh, three goals, two assists on the season. Their keeper has to come out and take a loose ball as the Cowgirls had players down the other end of the ground. Now it's cleared Lopez into the center. Matthews looking for a cross or coming back over to the near wing. It was knocked away. Matthews, or should say uh, Lopez, able to uh, take it in. And then Matthews had the shot that was rejected and then out of bounds over here on the near wing as it came back to the sideline. And a throw in for Oklahoma State. Trying to win it, Maryland, as they bring it up the near side. Grove into the forward end. Reinhardt has to run it down in front of Allende. Meanwhile, chance here for Maryland. Allende left wing, maybe bumping and a foul here. And this will be a free kick for Oklahoma State. Lower to shoulder, and the official saw her, and Tim Devising rings up the foul. Yes. And uh, Reinhardt, again, very strong player. Reinhardt, a 5'5 freshman out of Tulsa Union, plays a lot bigger than her size, as you may have seen if you were on the Internet and saw that play a moment ago. 
And Doherty, a ball blocked outside line across the way and the throw in for Oklahoma State. The thing about Reinhardt is and it's, she can play defense, she can play midfield, she can play forward, and she's played all three positions this year. Throw in, and it's up the sideline there, and uh, Michalowski, or I should say that's Marcusano off her feet. Throw in for Oklahoma State as the ball rolled out of bounds. And Haley McKinney, the other very good freshman defender out of Dallas Hebron, checks into the match, and Reinhardt, who we just mentioned, with those orange and black shoes, she goes out of the lineup. And a strong throw in here, and playing in front, the ball was headed, knocked away by Maryland to the near side wing, trying to run it down is Kelly, still in the Maryland zone, we get a foul, and this will be called on the Terrapins, and a free kick near sideline. We're at 5-4, everything else should be good. And the official discussing play here with Person who fouled, that was Hubka. Now the free kick here for Oklahoma State. This will be Taylor Matthews and Brian Penske with his thoughts on the play. The head coach with Jack Demerol here on the near sideline. Here's the kick by Matthews. Strong toward the box, and it's taken straight on by the keeper. That one from way out by Matthews, and the save taken there by Balligan. She'll punch it away. On the punt, and over the back is Niemeyer, and a foul here as Maryland player goes down. That is Hodak. And a free kick for the Terps inside the center circle to the left of the halfway line. This will be taken by Chris, who will send it deep toward the zone, and down inside the square, and ball rolls around, but we get a whistle and we get an offside. Maryland with a player ahead of the ball, and that is a offsides call. I believe each team's been called now once for that here in the first half. And the free kick for Oklahoma State. France just punches this one deep into the midfield area. Cowgirls look to run it down, but Maryland has numbers. Can they clear? Lopez tries to dig it out. Now Matthews and Niemeyer's there to win it. Brought up by Lopez. Cowgirls already up 1-0 looking for number two. Trying to send it forward, but Marcusano had her back to the goal and couldn't get turned around in time, and the goalkeeper will take the ball. Deep into the first half here as the Cowgirls with the 1-0 lead. Got about 10 minutes left, and the ball will send a short kick. Keeper to the center circle is deflected, and we get a foul here, and this will be on another handball by Maryland. And quickly, Matthews sets the touch to the far side for Doherty, who brings it up the ground. Looks for Brown over on the far side. Sarah toward the back line. And intercepted by Maryland, they'll clear it away. Well, at least try to anyway, and now they do from the back corner. And into the sideline, this will be a cowgirl throw in. That wasn't a very good clearance by the defender back along the back line. And Sarah Brown will throw it in for Oklahoma State. Strong throw in toward the 18. Niemeyer there, but a header knocks it away by Maryland. Now another header by Niemeyer sends it back to the sideline. Brown runs it down about where she threw it in a moment ago. Now they play it back, but Doherty not there, and the ball belongs to Maryland. They play it forward, and now nobody home at their end of the ground, in midfield area. So it's kicked back by Doherty to McKinney, and she'll play it the other way. Cowgirls left to right here in this first half. Maryland now right to left with the possession going the other way. Grove down the ground, in between three defenders. A little dribbler in front of the square, a chance there, and the ball knocked away. And everybody just kind of stopped for a moment, and as that ball was deflected down, and now a foul here on the near side by Anderson as she took Marcusano off her feet. And it's a good thing the official was facing the other way because she said something she'd have got a penalty card on her, yellow card. Here's the free kick. And that ball played up the ground by McKinney into the corner. The Cowgirls look for the cross, can't get it, knocked away by the Terps and back the other way. Mercado knocks it down at midfield in the circle, plays it over to Doherty. Doherty ahead now for Matthews. Matthews to the corner, Brown, left side. Brown brings it up the sideline, defended over there by a couple of players. Kaplan 
So I should say uh, Grove was the nearest player to her. Couldn't clear it away, and now Maryland wins it back at midfield. Now Grove to the near side, plays it over to the wing here for Hastings, still at the top of their zone. They're having trouble getting it out of there. Ball's deflected, and Emar trying to run it down does and centers it for Matthews. Here she comes, straight on, one defender in front, shot blocked, deflected to Marcazano, now over to Lopez. She'll shoot, and that one's off the keeper's hands. Comes outside the box, another shot, that one's deflected out, and across the back line, I believe that was Brown, the last one, and it'll go across the back line for a corner kick. So three opportunities there on that one. Couple of them off rebounds. After the first miss by Matthews and Lopez and Brown. And now it will be Matthews to the right of the keeper on the corner kick. South end of the ground, top of the six, a high ball. They look for the header and it goes wide. The header by Kelly just past the outside of the near post. Cowgirl, Cowgirls will bring Abby Aiken into the match. What was the sub, Stephen? Here in the game. And Olivia Wagner checked into the match for Maryland. Aiken, of course, the uh, freshman from Bishop McGinnis, and Wagner, who's our leading goal scorer, is a junior out of Boulder, Colorado. Played at Dawson High School up there at Boulder. And play resumes off the goal kick. Cowgirls had a player on her back, and that was... Niemeyer, who fell down, was able to get a second touch of the ball in the air, and that's legal as long as you don't kick somebody doing it. But Maryland's able to take the touch and bring it down the ground. They have it. Allende over to the far wing, cleared away by Mercado. That's a good matchup of those two. And a sideline throw in for Maryland as they substitute again here and bring Amy O'Sullivan into the match. Number 15, Amy O'Sullivan. He's a 5'10 senior out of Rochester, New York. She'll immediately take the throw in. Cowgirls look to win it back, comes back to Maryland. And it's cleared to the far corner off the leg of Wagner and out goes across the back line for a goal kick over on the far sideline. Back near the back corner. And A.D. French will take this goal kick. So again with the wind at their back here in this first half as the minutes are winding down here in period number one. Her kick, a low line drive into the circle, a header by Maryland, another by the Cowgirls, now touched there by the Terps. They have a bigger lineup now in there for Maryland, by the way, especially at the forward end. With uh, O'Sullivan and Wagner and Allende. Played to the center circle and it's overrun by two players and then Delosier sends it forward. Down by Anderson, played ahead by Maryland up to the forward end. Kaplan, deep ball, looking for a player in the box. That's Allende, knocked away by the Cowgirls, and now back outside the 18. Taken there by Kelly. And to the near wing, it's McKinney will bring it up to Lopez. Lopez to the sideline. She'll send it into the forward end. Maryland player knocking it down now over here on the near side, and a way to get a whistle. And it's off of Brown to the sideline out of bounds and a throw in for Maryland. They touch it quickly. Now another high kick way up in the air. Knocked down by Matthews along this near sideline. Three defenders around Lopez. She's able to clear it to Niemeyer. Now down the sideline to Matthews toward the near corner. The defender will get it to it first, Anderson. They play to the back line and the ball's going to go across off the Cowgirls for a goal kick. Final minutes of this first half here in Stillwater. Cowgirls with a 1-0 lead. Meyer's goal came early in the match. And Maryland had a penalty kick attempt to tie it. But it was covered up by A.D. French. Goal kick taken to midfield, knocked down by Matthews. Cowgirls win it with Lopez up the ground, McKinney. And now to Brown up this near sideline. The defender's going to send the ball. Well, it may have been, yeah, it's a corner. Goes out across the back line, and Colleen Doherty will take the corner kick, this time to the left of Balligan, the keeper. And Colleen will set the ball for play here. 
She has taken the majority of the corner kicks this year for Oklahoma State. Matthews is number two on that list. Colleen with the left-footed kick. Low line drive, header in front of the square, keeper knocks it out. Chance here for the rebound kick from outside the 18 and Lopez sends it up between the uprights. And the extra point was good, but not a goal. Goal kick for Maryland. Closing minutes of this first half here in Stillwater. Maligan will take this goal kick toward the center circle, headed down by Maryland. Strong kick by Hodak, nearly a high kick. And the hoop cut to the near sideline takes it into the corner. Cowgirls have numbers down there and they'll try to kick it out of the zone, they do. Header by Wagner keeps it there. Now they knock it down again and Maryland trying to play around the defenders for a little give and go, but Mercado has enough of that and clears it away out of the zone. Back in is Chris, midfield. And down the far sideline, and Doherty will just kick it into the seats. So a throw in for Maryland at midfield. Close to the end of the first half here, and we'll have another substitution as Alex Reed will check in. Sophomore from Fairfax Station, Virginia. He'll check in for Hubka, who will go out. Maryland trying for the equalizer here toward the end of the first half. Cowgirls with a 1-0 lead. How many times have we said that this year? A lot. Chance here for Maryland, just outside, now inside the top of the 18. Reed quickly blocked out. Rebound chance, that's Shut. deflected. Wide by Wagner. And a goal kick for Oklahoma State. Olivia Wagner, who had just checked into the match. And eight goals, two assists, 21 games. And a goal kick here for A.D. French. High strong kick to the center circle. Cowgirls missed a header, but Neymar knocks it down, and now they're on the run. Neymar up the ground for Matthews on the left wing. Matthews brings it towards center, looks to go inside. There's Brown, but it's knocked away by Maryland. Now outside to Matthews again, but it's cleared away to Doherty by the Terps. They go cross to the near side, a header, and let's see if Lopez can run it down. She can. And as they clear it out, they bring it back now. It is brought up by Kelly, now to Niemeyer. Into the circle, Kelly, a give and go there. Off the leg of Matthews, a chance there in front as Brown had an opportunity, but Maryland got to the ball first. Now Aiken over on the far wing. Aiken for the cross, it's blocked. That'll roll across the back line. Off the leg of Gibbons, and here's another corner by Taylor Matthews. Cowgirls would like to get another goal here before halftime. That would really put the pressure on Maryland here in the second half. It has been a rare feat this year to be able to do that. Have two goals and a half. Here's the kick, strong toward the six. Header, Delosier cleared away by a defender. And to the near side wing, and then Lopez just gets boarded there. A nice cross check if it was hockey, but the Cowgirls are going to win the ball. It's going to go across the back line, and it'll be another corner kick as it was touched by Maryland to the right of their keeper across the back line, and Matthews will try it again. Didn't see the number on that player for Maryland, but that she needs some skates and a stick. That was a pretty good move. Here's the ball toward the top of the six again, a header, and I believe it was Mercado. It's to the near sideline now for the Cowgirls, and winning it there is Delosier. Out top for McKinney. Centers it inside. Now it's cleared out. Aiken will clear it. Back in, and now knocked away again by O'Sullivan to center, and here comes Maryland, and they've got to get some defenders back to the Cowgirls. They do. Coming down the ground is Reed, and a nice play, and Reed's taken off her feet as she got sandwiched in between McKinney and Mercado. And back come the Terps now as they win the ball back at midfield. Near sideline, that is Wagner and Hastings. Cowgirls knock it away. Back into the top of the uh, Maryland zone. They'll just play it back toward their midfield defender. That's Hastings, who will send it back the other way. Or I should say that is uh, Chris, who will send it back the other way. Now another header, and Maryland knocks it down again. Kelly tries to get it, but overruns the ball for a moment. Now Mercado and her clearance blast is blocked, and now Maryland with a chance in front. Here's O'Sullivan to the wing right side for Reed. Reed to the back line, inside the six, and the Cowgirls have numbers back down there. 
It might have been a block shot in there by Reed, knocked away by Aiken, and now cleared back to the back line. And that's going to be a corner knocked away by the Cowgirls. So a corner kick here for Maryland. This will be taken by Allende. And this will be to the left of A.D. French. Waiting seconds of this first half. And Maryland will try for the equalizer here. Cowgirls up 1-0. Lights on. A cloudy day. 40 degrees at, at that at the ballpark. And here we go. Left-footed kick toward the square. And the ball will be cleared to the corner. Now another chance inside. Another blast, and that's going to go high and wide out by the scoreboard. And that was Rick Kriz who came down from the defensive side to make that last play. That ball came to the sideline, so the Cowgirls have a throw in along the back line near the flag in the near corner to our left. So this will be trouble to get it out of the zone, and they can't do it. Maryland, the quick throw in, will bring it out toward the near wing. That's Hodak back down inside, trying to clear it back out in front. Cowgirls look to win it, and it's McKinney who will send it back to midfield. Chris is back down there, has to be careful. Brown's right on her, and Brown knocks it away, but they have help back there on the near wing with Anderson. And they say that's enough of that with Brown in our face, and so they'll just send it back to Balligan, and she'll clear it back to midfield from the keeper spot. We have a minute left in the first half here in Stillwater. Corey Ryan down the far sideline, and that ball to the sideline. A blast there, knocked away as they look for the cross. Cowgirls have two defenders down there in the corner. Aiken clears it away up the ground. Maryland with 40 seconds left looking for the equalizer here in the first half. Doherty's just going to kick the ball into the seat. She has enough of that nonsense, and out of bounds it sails. So a throw in here for Maryland, and I guess there's another ball down there somewhere. That took about 15 seconds off the clock. Now the play in for Maryland along the sideline. Another chance in front. There's the cross. Down inside Eight, 10. Down inside seven, 7 now. Six, Shot is five, rejected on the near four, sideline and goes across. Three, two, but they're not going to get the sideline throw in in time, and that's going to be the end of the first half. So the Cowgirls, after a late Maryland flourish here at the end of the first half, have a 1-0 lead here over the Terps here at halftime. Here in Stillwater is Anika Niemeyer's goal. Back at the Cowgirl Soccer Complex here in Stillwater. Bill Van Ness with you here at halftime. The Cowgirls with a 1-0 lead 
over the Maryland Terrapins in the Sweet 16 matchup of the ACC and the Big 12 in this tournament. The Cowgirls with the lead on a goal at 3.56 of the first half by Annika Niemeyer. Her fourth goal in three games. She had not scored a goal all year. Had two against Pine Bluff a week ago this past weekend, and then, uh, or this past weekend, I should say. And then uh, last Friday night had a goal, the winner against uh, Illinois. And then today has the fourth goal in three games. Colleen Doherty with the assist, a shot from 12 yards out to the far post, and Oklahoma State with the uh, lead at 1-0 uh, here at halftime. Cowgirls outshot Maryland 11-8 in the first half. Maryland made three saves, Oklahoma State had one. Cowgirls on corner kicks 5-1, and the fouls were even at six in this first half. There were no cautions or ejections, and each team was off sides one time in the first half. Individual numbers in this one. Jasmine Spencer had a shot. Ashley Grove a shot and a shot on goal for Maryland. Danielle Hupka with a shot. Amy Kriz with a shot. Off the bench, they played five. And they read each with one and Wagner with two for eight shots, one on goal in the first half. The Cowgirls had 11 shots, four on goal in the first half. One goal, one assist. Crystal Lopez, three shots and a shot on goal. Colleen Doherty had an assist. That uh, was set up on that play in which uh, Niemeyer scored. Monica Niemeyer, a shot, a shot on goal, and a goal. Taylor Matthews, three shots, a shot on goal. Kristen Kelly with a shot. Megan Marquezano with a shot. And Elizabeth Delosia with a shot. Off the bench, Sarah Brown with a shot and shot on goal. And she nearly put her uh, chance in there early or late, should, I should say, in the first half. But it's 1-0 <laughs> here at halftime. The Cowgirls, again, out shooting Maryland 11-8. And lead here at halftime by a score of 1-0. Winner of this game, it's the winner of Boston College and Stanford. They'll kick it off about the time we're finished here in Stillwater this afternoon. And if the Cowgirls win and Stanford wins, Oklahoma State will go to Palo Alto next weekend. If Boston College wins and the Cowgirls win, the game is here in Stillwater next weekend. But again, Stanford is the number one team in the country, and they've uh, they've uh, shut out their two opponents they have played so far. We'll tell you more about the bracket as it's set up and some scores of games that are going on right now. That's all as the halftime continues. This is Cowgirl Soccer from Learfield Sports. In the final, Wake Forest four, Penn State two. about two and a half minutes left. Okay. Back here at the Cowgirl Soccer Complex in Stillwater, halftime, the Cowgirls 1-0 as they lead the Maryland Terrapins and try to continue a run in this tournament to the Elite Eight. Right now, 
We have one final Wake Forest is one today as they defeated Penn State four to one. Of the uh, eight seeds in this tournament, one through four, actually of the 16, I should say, one through four, only eight of those teams remained going into play today. Number one overall and number one seed Stanford was a winner over South Carolina 2-0 on Friday. They're playing a four seed Boston College who had to go to penalty kicks to defeat Cal on Friday. Of course, our game here, and Cowgirls, of course, are seated second. Virginia, a two seed on the uh, left side of the bottom half of the bracket, is playing Virginia Tech today, and we're up 3-0 at halftime in that game. Florida State was a one seed. They defeated Portland. And that was three to one on Friday. While the maybe the biggest upset of this tournament came when Louisville defeated Memphis on Friday. Memphis had not lost a game all year. They were 22-0-1 after defeating uh, UT Martin 7-0 in their opener. But Louisville beat them on Friday 2-0. So Memphis out of this tournament with only one loss on the year. So the left side of the bracket, Stanford, Boston College, Oklahoma State, Maryland, Virginia, Virginia Tech, and Louisville and Florida State. The other side of the bracket, starting at the bottom, Duke was a winner over Georgia, three to one on Friday, while Ohio State was, <laughs> excuse me, was a winner over uh, Wisconsin, Milwaukee, two to one on Friday. Long Beach State, who had already knocked out a three seed Pepperdine, uh, defeated uh, Miami of Florida, one nil, and San Diego, who's won two games on penalty kicks, still in this tournament. They're playing later today out on the West Coast. They knocked off the number two seed on the bottom side of the bracket on the right side, UCLA, in Los Angeles on Friday on penalty kicks. So San Diego and Long Beach State playing today. North Carolina was uh, scoreless at the half. That uh, game uh, now over, North Carolina won it. And they'll play for, uh, Wake Forest next. Uh, uh, North Carolina had defeated uh, Baylor earlier in the tournament, 5-0 uh, on Friday. And before that had defeated William and Mary 4-1. They defeated UCF today. UCF had knocked off the two-seed Florida to get to the round of uh, 32. Actually, to get to the round of 16. And then, as I mentioned earlier, Wake Forest defeated Penn State. Penn State beat Marquette. Penn State a four seed. So they are another seeded team that, that's out. So you had uh, five on each side of the bracket, I believe, or four. Four on this right side of the bracket, who were still playing today. Five on the Cowgirls side of the bracket. And Wake Forest, the one seed, is still in. Uh, Duke was trailing Ohio State earlier. Don't have a final on that game. But if Duke wins, they're number, another number one seed that's in. Florida State is in now. They've got to play Louisville. And then uh, Stanford and Boston College. Stanford a one seed. So all the one seeds were still in the tournament. Cowgirls were a two. So was Virginia. They were still in. North Carolina a three. And Penn State a four who was in if now has now been eliminated here this afternoon. So all the one seeds at the moment are still in the tournament. The Cowgirls are the only two seeds still in along with Virginia. And Virginia uh, one today, so they're going to go on and play either Florida State or Louisville. And North Carolina, and then uh, the other uh, seed who's a uh, four seed eliminated was Penn State. So you've got some unseeded teams still in this tournament. San Diego and Long Beach State, two unseeded teams playing each other today. And uh, so uh, that will be interesting to see who gets uh, due in that uh, quarterfinal showdown next weekend. Now the games can be next weekend, it'll be just one game. It can be either the 25th, the 26th, or the 27th. So you can play Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. The semifinals of this tournament are at the Kennesaw, Georgia, Kennesaw State University Soccer Stadium. Very nice 9,000 seat women's only soccer facility there outside of Atlanta on the northwest side of town. Uh, east of I-75 there, right there where Kennesaw State is located, right by the highway. That's the road that runs from Atlanta to Chattanooga. And the semifinals will be at 5 and 7.30 Eastern time on the 2nd of December. And then the championship game will be uh, for the Women's College Cup. The final two will be two weeks from today on December 4th at noon Central time, 1 o'clock in the east and ESPN 
televises those games of the uh, semis and the finals. So again, as of Friday, two more Big 12 teams went out, Baylor and uh, or A&M. A&M was beaten by Virginia Tech 3-1, to and Baylor, as I said earlier, was defeated by North Carolina 5-0. So the Cowgirls are the only Big 12 team left in postseason play in the Women's Division I NCAA Soccer Championship. Maryland, by the way, has a team in the finals today, and I believe they're playing Wake Forest, in the National Field Hockey Championships. I believe that's the two teams that are playing each other today. And that game is going on also this afternoon. So uh, good luck to Maryland in that. Cowgirls here lead Maryland 1-0 as we're at halftime here at the Cowgirls Soccer Complex in Stillwater. Again, the only goal by Annika Niemeyer at 3.56 of the second half. Welcome back. Second half action will be up next. This is Cowgirl Soccer from Learfield Sports. <laughs> 